Continuing on with the T20 internationals, we're playing the Kiwis. I think we lost the first one, to be honest, if I can remember correctly. Oh, actually, no, we won. That's right, because McCullum couldn't get the runs in the last over. Surely I'm not getting that wrong. Uh, but anyway, yes, we are playing the Kiwis at Wellington Park. Once again, a uh, number of matches here, obviously, because, you know, teams only have that one home ground. Is this, like, glitching through my... Okay, no. Okay, anyway, uh, New Zealand are going to bat first, which means we're actually going to chase in this match. I'm going to be given the newish ball. Two overs have been bowled, and they're like, we're taking out our premium bowlers. You're going to have a ball. What can you do with it? That is a really nice way to start. It was, it was almost perfect Yorker length, that one, I feel. Almost. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Caught and bowled, buddy. Do has a free hit. Crowd seemed to think it was not a free hit, but they must have forgotten the rules. No, good fielding there. Good fielding. So, again, probably the only runs that I get give are the ones that are off my own stupidity and extras. Oh! That was, that was classy. And that will be a single to end it. The fielding is okay, not great. It's a single. So, two from the over. New Zealand land for 22 after three. See, I still, I think the short ball is probably a bad option here. I'm going to do it anyway, but... I felt like it was a terrible choice. Look at that. It results in a six, so never again. While the power play is on, will I be doing a short ball? Get it! I worry. I want that. I want that out. Cover point. That's where I need the fielder. I'll leave the big cover gap open. In case they want to hit into there. But that's going to cause them problems when they hit shots like that. Get out of here, buddy. Is that the big man? Oh, that's Williamson. Just made the three runs. So I leave that cover gap open. It leaves it open to them to sort of try and take that on. And already within an instantaneous moment, within an instant, it causes a wicket. Ross Taylor to the crease. He tries to hit the same shot. Ooh. What about a little bit of an outswing, shall we? A little bit of an outswing. Oh, it's over the top. Man getting there. Not quite. Into that gap for four. So Ross Taylor is off the mark. And he is on four runs now. That's coming straight back to me. Didn't quite carry. This time he goes well over the top on the offside for six. So that's an extraordinary end of the over. 15 from it in the end. Disappointment. So we got two deliveries to come. Ross Taylor's on 29. Mitchell Johnson's gone for 10 off this over. The Kiwis are on 182. They're going to remain on 182. And there's another ball to go before the end of this inning. So I think we've done a, you know, sort of a reasonably okay job to just keep them... To 182. I mean, it's not 10 and over, it's 9 and over, which is still a fair amount. So what are they going to end up with? 183. They're pushing hard for 184, and they're going to get that. So the Kiwis end up with one, two for 184 off their 20 overs. It's going to be a big ask for us to get that. And uh, Rutherford, 106 not out. Really good score. Makes it tough for us. Australia lose their third wicket, and I come to the crease. At a desperate time. 56 runs required from 36. Now it's 49 from 34. So really got to take the game on. Shot was not bad. Shot was not great either. So good good call of no. Would have run myself out. Glenn Maxwell's me partner. Me partner. So he's the one who's going to help me. No. Look, I really just need to work it around for him. We're going to need 10 and over. That's what we what we actually need. This over's gone for 7. It'll be 8. Maybe 9. No, no, no. We'll just take that single. So I'll let Maxwell bat whatever he needs to here. I'm not going to sort of simulate it. I just want to see what he's going to do. Oh, no! He has got himself out, Glenn. An edge to the pad. Goes on to sort of leg slip. It's quite a bizarre wicket in the end. 
He's hit it straight into his pad and they've got a little leg slip waiting for him. So that's really disappointing. We'll have a look at the replay of just how unfortunate this really was. Just mistimed it completely. It is. Did it actually hit the pad or did it just come off the edge? So it sort of, sort of middled it. But it's gone so, sort of straight through and then it has actually come off the pad a little bit. Bubbled in the air and this guy... Just waiting for it. Anderson. Now it really is on us to win this one. Look, we're, we're about where they were. So, we can just take it on. Wow. How did that go over the stumps? If it was full, I was going to take it on. That's going to get caught. Oh, he's put it down. Oh, wow. I've been dropped. Wow. The short ball was just hit straight in the air and it's been put down. Have a look. We'll, we'll watch it on the replay here. Absolutely straight in the air. Fielder gets close to getting around to it. And there is this, it's uh, Williamson. Goes with sort of the outside of the hand and it's just hit him on the forearm. Really, really odd catching technique there from Kane Williamson and it has cost New Zealand a wicket. And the wicket in the very dangerous me. Oh man, the slower balls are killing me. That's better. That'll be four. So that races to the rope. I mean, it's not as risky as hitting down the ground, but I'm, it's still the same amount of score. So that's a square fielder. We've got a square gully. If we can hit it over the top of mid on or mid off, that's runs as well. That's better. That's better time. That'll be four as well. Not quite six, but fours will do at this stage. That's ten off the over, which I think is pretty much all we need at this stage. So I can probably get around this next ball without taking too many risks. Alright, didn't want to do that, because that was a slow ball anyway, so probably wouldn't have hit that too well. 24 balls left, 38 runs required. What can Haddon do? Oh, it's Hodge, actually. We're going to go for the quick single, two mid on. I get back, Haddon gets a... Oh. Hodge gets across, sorry. And we make it interesting. So look at this. 37 needed. There's a big gap in those covers. I like that gap. And there's a little bit of a gap on the leg side as well. Through the offside, we decided to go. Just the single. Good dive from Hodge to get there. I mean, these singles are really critical because that's what we need. Um, I shouldn't have seen that. Really should not have seen that. Tim Sally comes on. 24 required from 18. Hodge must have had a pretty good over. Oh, wow. I don't know how I missed that. Do not, not know how I missed that. 24 from 17. I mean, it is a real... 13 from Hodge off that last over in the end. So some good stuff from him. Look at that. That's four. Okay, we're, we're in a real good spot now. Oh, it's high in the air. Man getting there, not quite four. Let's do go fairly high in the air. 16 from 15, no need to take too many risks now. You can sort of just play it out as it comes along and that's what I'm gonna do, just pick up another two on the leg side here. So really smart batting there. We know we're now ahead of the runs to ball ratio or sort of dead even with it. So we don't need to take any risks. Straight on, straight off a back. Mid wicket is sort of up. Long leg, deep square leg is back. Offside, there's a gap. That's where we might hit. Oh, we're not going to get away with it here. There's a good throw. Direct hit would have had me out. A bit slow with the reaction there in the field and just uh, getting away with it there. So 13 from 13 now. Hodge, little ball. Gonna be a single, gonna be two, I reckon. I'm pushing hard for two. Hodge is getting back for two. Real good stuff, good running. It's what we need to do. Short ball pulled away to the boundary in between the two fielders. That's how we get it done. That's how we get it done. Seven from ten. Pushed forward across to the sort of deep point. Looking for two, not gonna get that. Just the single. Six from nine. Hodge goes down the ground. We'll pick up a single. We might even pick up two. Pushing hard for it. I'm getting back. Hodge is getting back. Very nice. Just four runs from eight. 
Can Hodge hit the winning runs here? Can he do it? Can he do it? Just goes down the ground. It'll be a single. With a ball to come. Australia need three runs off these final seven deliveries. And down the ground he goes to win the match. Australia get home in the second T20. And I think that's the series win as well. 50 partnership undefeated at the end of that. 32 not out. Rutherford clearly the best score there. 106 not out was definitely the best player on the field there. One for 29 as well with the ball. So we did a really, really good contribution there. I feel like everything we did was sort of working. And uh, while we weren't the best player in the match, we did, we did enough. Now there's County Cup stuff going on as well. So I don't know if we're going to be involved in that one. Sort of in the next sort of little bit or if we're just going to simulate through everything until we get to the third T20 which generally what happens with these series isn't it you sort of get two matches in and then it just takes you away for like 10 years because that's what happened before with the test matches we had the first test match and then or maybe it was the second test match maybe the first test match and then we played an entire uh, English T20 cup before we actually came back in and did other stuff. So now we've got the third T20 match against New Zealand. Have we won the series? I think we have, if I can remember correctly. Uh, yes, so Australia won by six runs the first one, six wickets the second one. Can we get over the line in the third one to make it a 3-0 clean sweep? Find out in the next episode. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.